he went out there with the commissioners and stuff like that. They're all behind him, right? They went out there. They're walking up the staircase themselves to see the situation. And as they're analyzing the staircase and stuff, he said, look, the, the walls were all burnt, right? The lighting is bad, right? And then they heard a big bang noise also, right? right? And the ADAs and stuff like that, they're all there, right? And they, hit, they heard a big bang noise, and then they all went for their gun. A police officer being in jail? That's oh, extremely they, they, dangerous. They, they rarely convict a police officer yeah. and put him in jail. That's almost impossible. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. That's why, that's why uh, people are fighting for that law to change. Straight up, he was just a psychopath and just ended up you know, trigger happy trying to shoot someone. Well, the, the job would hang him for that. Unless, unless he's well connected. Oh, wow. I mean, everything you're saying, it's, it's, it really does feel like a movie. And I'm like, if somebody, if I heard this from someone else, like hearsay, I would say bullshit. Like honestly, I would no, say, no, no, no. I, w- is- I would say, you know what? I there's no way that can possibly be true. Everything mm-hmm. that you just outlined, I would say there's no way because that's not what we're taught. Right. Growing up, that's what I thought also. Right. A lot of us are led to believe something entirely different, mm-hmm. entirely different. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then when you pull the covers back, and you and you drop a bombshell like this. It, it makes you go it's like right now i'm still in disbelief all right it's crazy to me lucky boys podcast let's say oh um cops are um shooting black and browns or whatever right okay let's sacrifice peter lang he just shot a black, a black person let's sacrifice peter lang and hang him and show that we're doing something about it that's why they sacrificed peter lang Right, Peter Lang is he the officer that shot He's the, uh, the, the guy in the projects? Right, like his so, gun went off. So let me let me explain. And hit right, yeah. so let me explain to you what happened. Right, <clears throat> I grew up I grew up in Flatbush, so I grew up around black and brown people, and I I I'm not racist at all. I love all people of color. You know what I mean? Like I've seen you out at the marches. Right, so <clears throat> what they did to Peter Lang though was very wrong. Right, so this is what happened. The way NYPD trains you to walk up a staircase gun out right in the projects yeah. anywhere and it, but it was specifically this uh, just just to give people uh, that, that that are listening to this uh, with Peter Lang he was doing a patrol going right. up and in down the housing the projects. projects right right and he was now, going up the, the now, staircases right also keep in mind that this in this particular housing project the walls were burned to make it dark mm-hmm. the lights were bad bad lighting right right and what happened was, you know, he he's a rookie. He had his hand out, right? He's walk. He, I mean, he has his handgun in his hand as he was trained, right? And as he's trained to do, he's cutting the pie, right? Meaning, like, what does that mean? Like cutting the corner to, like, you know, see who's around the corner. Okay, carefully, okay, okay. Carefully going mm-hmm. up the stairs, right? right? Walking up, he gets startled though because, like, maybe uh, I think a flight up or two flights up. The door, the door slams, right? Mm-hmm. Because there's no spring or whatever. The door slams, makes a big boom noise. Right. So but he got startled, slipped, slipped backwards on the stairs, fell down, and acc- And when when you fall down, your hands, on reflex, clench. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. So his hand clenched, and since his finger was on the trigger, it clenched, boom, and it let it round off. Right, that round, he didn't even see the person to shoot the person. So it's not like he aimed for somebody or saw somebody and shot them. No, that round went up, ricochet off the wall, and hit him around the corner. The person. So he didn't even see anyone. No, he just heard. Something. He just heard something. A and loud the, bang. Right. So he and got the, startled. Right. Pulled while he was falling. Right. He accidentally pulled the trigger ricocheted off the project walls and project walls if you guys know in the staircases it's like, it's like hard cement yes, bricks yeah yes uh, it's Center very blocks. conducive yeah, yeah very conducive for a bullet a ricocheting right. off of it it's so, not just gonna go str- it's not like a drywall where it's just gonna right. go straight even, in even like when we're, when we're trained to when we go into a housing project don't hug the walls they tell you don't hug the wall because the bullet will ride the wall Mm, very and, true right and and, and, okay. and hit you true. Yeah. Yeah. so they always tell us don't hug stay the wall from, yeah, yeah stay away from the wall like you know like give some space yeah like maybe like a foot space or something like six inches or six or foot space that's why you see cops when they go in they don't re- or, or or 
or military or whatever, when they go into like a, a setting like that, a hallway, they don't really hug the wall. Right. They're, they're, yeah, stacked, they're, they're stacked, they're stacked behind each other the, in yeah. the middle. Mm-hmm. And they, they move together, they're stacked, right? Stacked yeah. up. So whatever the case is, <clears throat> it was an accident. He didn't even see the target, right? It mm-hmm. was, you can't even say target because he wasn't aiming for anything. He had no intention to let off the round. Right. right, it was it was a natural reflex, right? Whatever. Right. But they took that. If that was the, if that was a white cop, to be honest with you, if that was a white cop that wait, so he shot protection he, when it ricocheted. It ended up the bullet ended up penetrating his bullet ended up penetrating the person and dying. Just really bad luck, right? Really, really bad luck. That's real shitty luck. Yeah, and that person had, was not a criminal. Did not do anything. Mm-hmm. There was this huge uh, backlash against. No, no idea. Like you know, it, it, right. should, it shouldn't matter what the what the history is. Right. For you to get hit by a, a, a bullet, you know, it, by or, or killed. Right. You shouldn't. You shouldn't look at this criminal history because. Right. But a lot time, of people do that. Right. But at that especially time, especially this day and age. Right. At that time, he's innocently walking down the stairs you know, the where he lived. Yeah, yeah, where he lived. He has every right to do that. So that that shouldn't be an issue, right? So, but the thing is that. He never seen the person. Like it's just he slipped, got startled, and boom, it ricocheted off the wall and hit him around the corner. Okay. Right. So the NYPD took that and goes, "Here we go. We could throw this guy under the bus." He became the scapegoat. Yes. For all the issues, right? Racial because at that time it was happening. black. Yeah. But at that time was the big Black Lives Matter movement also, mm-hmm. and they took that and they took Peter Lang and they sacrificed him for that, and they said, "Look, we are taking action." We're changing our policies. We're doing this, so forth and so on. And you're saying that's a PR move? Yes, because internal fears mm-hmm. went out there to investigate, mm-hmm. right? Because they have to do an investigation. I know the detective that had that case, right? And he told me himself. He went out there with the commissioners and stuff like that. They're all behind him, right? They went out there. They're walking up the staircase themselves to see the situation. And as they're analyzing the staircase and stuff, he said, look, the, the walls were all burnt. Right, the lighting is bad, right? And then they heard a big bang noise, also, right? right? And the ADAs and stuff like that, they're all there, right? And they had they heard a big bang noise, and then they all went for their gun, right? Right, and everybody, like, oh, and if anybody knows, like in the projects, the doors are like very heavy steel, (laughs) right? They don't have the you know, it's it's not a soft closed luxury right. the, the thing. Big, so the big, and the wind, heavy doors, and there's like a wind tunnel. <clears throat> yes, a lot of the time, so it'll take that door and the momentum and really right slam it. Yeah, right. So they all went for their guns also, and the ADAs all hot hit behind the cops and stuff. Like, what the hell's going on? Whatever. Mm-hmm. So it's like they seen it themselves right. that situations like that will startle somebody, and they could see how it happening. Why this guy? And they, they were like, oh, why this guy had his gun out and stuff like that. And going up the staircase, they realized, oh, okay, I can see why he had his gun out because, you know, it's dangerous, right? You don't know what's going on, whatever, and so forth and so on. So, you know, they sacrificed him for that anyway. So even what, though after what, the investigation. What was the, um, I guess, end result for Peter Lang? He got fired. He got fired? Was He got fired, and then I think he got, um, they, 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 did he, did he get convicted? I'm not too sure. Can you can you look that up? Though? Yeah, sure. I'm not sure he got convicted, but mm-hmm. he got fired, and now he does I think uh, security somewhere or something like that. Oh shit! Yeah, and you know it, he still gets backlashes and, and threats and stuff like that too. So it's really it's really sad that once NYPD throws you under the bus like that, like you're getting backlash now. You know. So, but then what happens to the brotherhood there though in a situation like that? No. You know? The brotherhood only exists if you drink the Kool Aid. Oh, so you're saying Peter was probably too young or too too, too much young. Of a rookie. He, he he was a rookie. He was like the ideal candidate to just throw under the right, bus, right? Because he's Asian. One, he knows that um, if they they can't do it to a black officer because the black officer associations will come out and speak, mm-hmm. right? They can't do it to um, a white officer because that's one of their own people, right? right? And Peter Lang, they realized that he had no connections. Right, no political connections, no, no. He wasn't royalty. Yeah, he was. He, he didn't was have hooks. He didn't know anybody, and so also at the time, they believed that us Asians we don't speak out, right. and they thought they could just do it and get away with it, and nobody would speak out about it. But people came out to rally for it, right, mm-hmm. and it still got ignored. But you know what? It, and it was on the other side looking at it. Yeah, even if uh, Asians do come out and rally for it. They're, you know, it's not a good look on the Asians too. Like, yo, he right. shot 
an innocent person and kill right, them. That's why to be Black Lives Matter anti protested it. Mm-hmm. And they did an anti protest against it, and the Asian community got backlash from it. That's, so that's why. I remember that. And, and, and now you think about it. Now you got the um, black and Asians fighting each other. Dividing the community, yeah, dividing the minority and community, and guess who's on a sideline now, laughing with the original target, mm-hmm. NYPD. The NYPD folks, they're just sitting on the side, laughing like, yeah, they're fighting amongst each other. Right, because when you fight, you guys reduce each other's power right. scales. Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. It becomes a distraction while from the bigger picture. While they're distracted, we get to do our thing here. Right, exactly. We get to continue doing our thing. Mm-hmm. Therefore, we call internal fears smoke and mirrors. Right. PR. So also touching on Peter Lang, uh, he did get convicted uh, of manslaughter, right. but um, he was uh, sentenced to five years probation in yeah. community service. So they, they didn't really like hurt him, hurt him. What are you talking about? They didn't give him a jail time, you know, because most it, people, it I, remember matter, at, I remember at that time, people were saying that's not enough. Bro, Eric Garner. Right, I, 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 I'm not arguing that that listen, I'm, listen, I'm not listen, saying listen. Peter Lang got off scot free, but what I'm saying no, is he didn't there, go to jail. If, if you're saying there's a double standard, yeah, definitely there's yes, a double. I'm standard. not saying I'm certainly not saying that, but I'm also saying that he didn't get like the worst case scenario. He didn't get, uh, he didn't go go to jail. A police officer being in jail, that's oh, extremely they, they, dangerous. They, they rarely convict a police officer yeah. and put him in jail that's almost impossible I yeah think. is it yeah that's why that's why uh people are fighting for that law to change there's like a blanket law that protects law enforcement really um, yeah for for you to even like um to sue them or stuff like that it's like, like a blanket law to protect them from that so that's why people are trying to change that so it's pretty right? ironclad to protect a police officer from yes. getting that amount of punishment as a regular civilian would right even if they did do something like on purpose, like for example, if that was in, in a scenario like that, if it wasn't an accidental fall, as you say, mm-hmm. if it was just straight up, he was just a psychopath and just ended up, you know, trigger happy trying to shoot someone. Well, the, the job would hang him for that, unless unless he's well connected. Oh wow! Right. So like, there's another situation where I think it was um, either. either Either Kelly's uh, um, son or, or Ray, like Raymond, former, Kel- Raymond, for, Raymond for, Kelly's son, form, or, the former commissioner. Yeah, or or somebody. It was somebody's son. It was some commissioner's son, or, or the mayor's son. I'm not too sure. Right. He had a case where he had um, basically rape. Mm-hmm. Is, is the charge right? And he got off scot free. Wasn't it the guy? Wasn't he an, an, a news anchor, a I'm, morning I'm, I'm news not, anchor? I'm not too sure. But yes, he was the anchor, and uh, he uh, his father was was in uh, the police force. Right, that, yeah, that's, I remember that's, that case yes. he, on Fox because I used to watch him in the Fox, mornings when I used anchor. to get ready for work. Right, but there's another case where the son of a high ranking officer, it probably didn't even make the news, got sexual harassment charges. Same family? No, uh-uh. I, it's a different situation. Okay, where this, the 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 officer was. Um, accused of sexual harassment and got Scott got off scot free. So, so what happened in that case? That everybody got off scot free. Which case though? The rape. The uh, with, with the this commissioner. news anchor. Yeah, the news anchor. Oh, I have to look it up. I'm not. We got Google over here. We're, we're getting more sophisticated in this yeah. podcast. <laughs> so, but, uh, but I mean, everything you're saying, it's it's it really does feel like a movie. And I'm like, if, if somebody, if I heard this from someone else, like hearsay, I would say bullshit. Like honestly, I would no, say, no, no, no. This I, w- is- I would say, you know what? I, there's no way that can possibly be true. Everything mm-hmm. that you just outlined, I would say there's no way because that's not what we're taught. Right. Growing up. That's what I thought also. Right. A lot of us are led to believe something entirely different, mm-hmm. entirely different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then when you pull the covers back and you and you drop a bombshell like this, it, it, it makes you go. It's like right now I'm still in disbelief. Right. It, it's crazy to me. Yeah. So before I went on the cover. Before I saw what happened, right, um, I thought internal fears was the good square cops. They're, you know, they're squared away. The good cops, they go after you if you do something bad. So that's why you have to be on your P's and Q's and you can't do anything bad. You have mm-hmm. to be in check with internal fears, right? Right. No. 